the core is one, and I can behold the tide. Hey everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be having a look at Boris and his stupid slogans and his even more stupid plans. This time, build back borders. The Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, has claimed that the era of uncontrolled low-skill immigration is over. Not doing a very good job of it so far, but he says it's over so we must believe him, honestly. But it, it's been touted as completely misleading by Migration Watch UK, which predicts public outrage over the scale of his disastrous immigration policies if they are ever revealed to them. Now, delivered his, in his speech at the Conservative Party conference, with the Build Back Better agenda in full view, lockstep, he delivered a speech, and the speech said, to a the answer to present stresses and strains, which are mainly a function of economic growth and revival, is not to reach for that same old lever of uncontrolled migration to keep wages low. The answer is to control immigration, to allow people of talent to come to this country, but not to use immigration as an excuse for failure to invest in people, skills, and the equipment and machinery. What an absolute cheek. 11 years they've been residing over keeping wages low and not investing in people in this nation. So he's an absolute disgrace. But the main problem is, is the new points-based system that they're bringing in to apparently, and I quote, fix mass immigration and reduce the numbers from hundreds of thousands to tens is actually going to increase the numbers. And I'll tell you why. At the moment, we've got EU migration, just EU migration. The points-based system opens up immigration to the world, which will actually enable up to 660 million more people to have access to British land. Now, I'm sorry and all that, but that's not controlling immigration. That's just opening the board for everybody, is it not? 660 million migrant workers. And the reason for that is they, they might have said that they've come out and they'll do a points-based system like Australia did, but what they haven't done is placed on a cap, i.e. the most we can take. So it's an unlimited amount. And if you take unlimited amounts from the world, you're looking at about 660 million migrant workers. So we're going to be flooded with this immigration control bullcrap that they've come up with. Absolutely disgraceful. In a statement provided, Migration Watch chairman Alf Mehmet said, Mr. Johnson is putting a bold face on potentially disastrous immigration policies. Immigration is neither under control nor reducing. Lurgy has helped to screw up immigration statistics, but the public will be very angry when the truth comes out. Migration Watch also said that there are already signs of a significant increase in the number of work permits being granted to particular countries outside the EU. The open door immigration policies over the past 20 years, 11 of which, like I said previous, the Tories were in, in power, has seen a foreign-born population balloon to 9 million to 13 million, as I've done in a previous video, which represents over a fifth of the UK population. This this cannot continue, can it, everyone? The Tories are obviously incapable or do not want to fix this problem. Obviously, because of what he said in his speech, driving down wages, i.e. the same old lever of uncontrolled migration to keep, to keep wages low. That is exactly what the problem is, and they will continue to do it forever, for in perpetuity, in my honest opinion. If they wanted to fix this, they would. Just like Poland, Romania... Croatia and Greece are doing. Shore up the borders and stop all of this, but they're not stopping it because they want it. But let me know what you think, everyone. Also, everyone, don't forget that there's a website coming. I hope to see you all over there. It will be open in the next three days. I'll let everybody know when it gets closer to the time, but we are very close to having it complete, and I am very, very proud of the work that's gone into this, so I would love to hear your opinion on it, everyone. Stay sane. I'll see you on the next one.